Last year's Razer phone was a powerful gaming phone, but it fell short of being a strong flagship phone because of its mediocre camera and missing features such as water resistance. With the Razer Phone 2, Razer is changing all of that, even making sure it uses flagship in its marketing to ensure people know this isn't a phone you can only rely on for gaming, but for things like taking reliable photos as well. From the front, the Razer Phone 2 looks exactly the same as its predecessor. You still have a 5.7 inch LCD IGZO screen with a quad HD resolution, and it maintains the 120Hz refresh rate for smoother gaming and scrolling throughout the Android interface. The screen supports HDR10, so you get the best viewing experience when watching HDR content in HDR supported apps like Netflix and YouTube. But what's new here with the screen is that it's much brighter. It's much easier to see darker scenes in shows like Marvel's Luke Cage and Iron Fist. Audio has also improved. With Dolby Atmos support, it's easy to pick up sound traveling from one end of the screen to the other. And the stereo speakers also manage to get incredibly loud while still sounding robust and dynamic. There's no headphone jack still, but you get a 24-bit 3.5mm to USB-C back in the box, and Razer is also selling separate USB-C earbuds. Razer also managed to deliver IP67 water resistance despite the massive speaker grill, which is something that it had trouble with on last year's Razer phone. That means you can now take this phone underwater up to one meter for 30 minutes. Over on the back, its biggest change is the use of glass, specifically Gorilla Glass 5. That means the phone is now prone to shattering a little easier, but there's now support for wireless charging. The camera is also now centered, but the logo is the most interesting thing on the back. It's now an RGB LED, and you can change the color to whatever you want with different animations in the Chroma app. You can also set it to change color to incoming notifications, and the color is set for whatever the developer set for the app. For example, an incoming Gmail email will change the logo color on the back to red. Razer is also releasing a wireless charger for $100 that has the same chroma effect around the base. It can also change colors based on the notifications arriving on your phone, but it also turns green to indicate the phone is charging. Specifications wise, the Razer Phone 2 is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor with a massive 8 gigs of RAM. There's 64 gigs of onboard storage and a micro SD card slot if you need more. We didn't run into any problems playing games and you should be able to game for even longer because of a new vapor chamber cooling system. It's the flat large sheet in the phone that spreads heat around the surface on the rear. Razer said you shouldn't expect any kind of performance throttling even after gaming for a while on this phone. A 4000 mAh battery is back in tow and the phone supports Qualcomm's Quick Charge 4 Plus. Razer said you should be able to get up to half the battery charged in 30 minutes. There's not a lot of flourishes in the software, which is mostly stock Android, with Nova Launcher pre-installed. It's quite customizable. There's a Razer Cortex app, which acts like a game launcher, and inside is Game Booster, which lets you tweak exact graphical and performance settings of your games, which is kind of neat. The biggest downside here is that the software runs Android 8.1 Oreo, rather than the latest Android 9 Pi. Android Pi support is in the works, but Razer did not share any kind of timeline. The camera is the one area of the phone we're most excited to test. Razer said it carried over nothing from last year's Razer phone in an attempt to start completely from scratch. The first improvement is the use of cameras from Sony. Both lenses on the rear are 12 megapixel lenses, the main one has an f1.75 aperture with optical image stabilization, and the second rear lens is a telephoto with 2 times zoom and an f2.6 aperture. The user interface is easier to follow. There's finally a dedicated button to quickly swap to the 2 times optical lens, and the camera app doesn't feel so bare bones like it did in the original Razer phone. It snaps pictures quickly, and the image quality looks solid, but we'll have to do more testing to see how it compares to the rest of the flagship market. There's an 8-megapixel front-facing camera with an f2.0 aperture, but we haven't had the chance to test it yet. The Razer Phone 2 costs $800 for the mirror gloss finish you see here, which only comes with 64 gigs of internal storage. There will be a satin finish model for sale, but it will cost $900 as it includes 128 gigs of internal storage.